Hey there guys. Not bringing you much fishing content right now, so uh, decided to make a couple uh, unboxing videos for uh, just to get you some content out there. All right, the first one here with all the uh, holiday sales going on, we got the uh, Guggen Squad mystery kit. No idea what's in here, haven't opened it yet. So let's get after it. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like Carl's box, but it doesn't have all the fancy stuff. Maybe first shot, that sucker is loaded. So let's see what we got in there. I'm just gonna pick right at the top and uh, start there. Well, got a good sticker. I need a good boat to put this on. All right, first things first, we have a Grass Hero Swim Jig. Chartreuse White. That should work just fine for my neck of the woods. Get that little silly little plastic off there. Not too shabby. Nice sharp hook. There you have it. Got some offset number four hooks. Always use more of those. Here's the uh, hammer hooks. Again, Guggen Squad. Four rod. Nice and sharp. Not bad. Here's the uh, Guggen Squad hooks. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, digging down the pile here. We have a, a little juicy finesse jig, quarter ounce. Looks like a green pumpkin. Yep, green pumpkin, four rot. Finesse jigs, really like those. Nice flat bottom. Almost sits up even on the table. Should work really well for some of those finesse days. You almost put a little like a almost a little net as a trailer on there. But you that sucker would stand up real nice. All around, should be a good finesse jig. Well, we got our, uh, I forget the te technical name for these. A little face mask thing in here. Guga Squad, squad style. I don't like use those and the whole COVID thing, everybody's wearing them, but these work really nice on those hot days, keep the sun off your face and off your neck. So, Guggen Squad, black. I'll oh, we'll use it. I'll wear it. All right, next up, we have the Zinger Spinnerbait Chartreuse White. Dual colored blades, Chartreuse and White. Again, good sharp hook. One thing I like about these Guggen Squad wire baits is they have this uh, little rubber band here. It's nice, so if you ever have you know a little line slide down, down your wire one way or the other, usually it's you know towards the blades. This will keep it from doing that. I kind of like that. It's a good idea. All right, next thing we got in here is the Bandito Bug, 3.3 inch red watermelon red flake. Very good color for around here as well. All right, let's get one of those crowds out and check them out. packed in there, aren't they? Should look quite nice. Throw that on that finesse jig. Nothing wrong with those. I know the Google baits are a little more money, but what are you getting here? Nine of them? You know, or a lot of guys might give you less. I don't know. They're not bad. Not bad at all. All right, these next four baits I'm excited about. All right, first things first, we have the Recon. Comes in short tooth blue back. That would work just fine. Eight to 12 feet, deep diver crank. All right, there's our deep diving crank. Right on the 
bottom. Good. Eight to twelve. Bill feels all right. Colors should work just fine. That should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good bait there. It's got a nice, nice thuddy rattle to it. Colors are good. Deep diving crank. Definitely needed another one for my uh, collection. So there you have it. Not bad at all. Let's see what we got next. This thing is sweet looking. All right, let's pull out the Grande Banger. It is a three inch, three to seven foot diving, three quarter ounce. It's kind of a square bill here, a little, a little diving square bill. Ghost Gill is the color. Again, nice deep thuds. You can see them. Let's see if we can get it in there. Two, two uh, rattling balls there. Not bad. It's all plastic, but I like that. It looks like a nice little bluegill. That should work well. All right, next up we have the stick bait, the hound in black. They're called Nightclub. All right, here's the Hound. It's a stick bait, walking top water. It does have a little bit of a flat face on in there, so it should give a little bit, little bit of a chugging action. It's just a, I'd guess, and you know, a small amount of noise. Not quite as much, not as aggressive as like a, a chugger or a popper. Nice hand tied. Uh, back treble yeah so there you have it nice little stick bait again another good addition to my collection and the final bait of this box good old filthy frog and this looks to be the ghost gill color as well so i like using my frog with other nice hooks Really become, a fan of you, really become a fan of using these frogs, so I'm excited to try this one. I really like this color. I just feel like it's gonna produce. Yep, that'll be fun. So there you have it. The Guggen Squad Mystery Box. My opinion, well worth the money. I'll spread them out here, show you what we've got going on. Definitely got a well-rounded assortment of goodies. And I think I paid all of uh, like 25 bucks for it or something like that. So not bad, not a bad little spread for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Holiday special, so it's a little cheap right now, but bottom line, save some money, got some decent lures. I am happy about that. Well, that concludes, uh, Close this on opening for the Guggen Mystery Box. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video, smack that subscribe button. Help me get this channel up and going. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully be giving you some uh, fishing content here soon. We just about got uh, ice over enough where we can go out and do some ice fishing up here north. So um, hope to bring you a couple of those videos. Take care and have fun. I have one thing to say before you watch the end of this video. Tournaments 2022, and look what my partner has. I found a hell of a good one. Check this out.
much fun. <laughs> you got China in a couple times. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to hit the thing up here, and I'm, all of a sudden I look up, and the front end's going, dude, dude. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> No, I'm I'm honestly really really impressed how well this boat just freaking goes right along. Pretty good. I've been in plenty of walleye boats that are not even close to this smooth. No, not even close. Definitely uh, kills that uh, misconception that bass boats are just ass pounding pains in the asses. Yeah. <laughs>